Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. This time we're talking about COD World War II again, and I want to tell you guys how to use the bar in this game. Because I think the bar, it's kind of a straightforward weapon, but not entirely. Because of just the power and the way that it's built, it's a very weird weapon. You know, it's easy to pick up, but hard to use correctly. It's important to remember that the bar is not a long range weapon, it is a medium range weapon. Long range, the bar's kick, even with foregrip, can make it inaccurate. So if you want to try long range, you better be really good at kick control or be using semi-automatic fire on this thing, because it is very hard to use long range. Or if you're playing hardcore, I mean, hardcore, any weapon is a long... Even the shovel could be a long range. Not, not the shovel, but like any weapon's a long range weapon in hardcore. But if you are using the bar in core, stick to medium range. And what you're going to do with this bar is... You can use it for light flanking, so really counter flanking. If you see someone flanking, you can move them, take them out before they get to their position. You can also use it to hold points, such as, you know, if you got some cover that you really want the enemy to not have, or maybe, you know, they're trying to get to B and you're, in, you're the only one that stands between them and B. You can use the bar for that because the bar has 20 rounds in a magazine, as a four shot kill. You can kill up to five enemies without extended mags with this gun, so it is really good for holding points. However, my favorite use of the bar is what I call frontline attacking. Now what I mean by frontline attacking is it's you screw flanking. Flanking is for sideways attacking the enemy. Frontline is you and the enemy are staring at each other. All right, the bar is used, you know, there's campers in windows, there's campers behind cover, and if you can get to that range and use the bar there, you'll take them out. That's what the bar is used for, is taking out those frontline positions so your SMG guys can move in and clear them out and take, them, take control of them, so then you can move in and take it. Basically, the bar is used to take points that SMGs clear out or that it clears out itself. That's what the bar is used for. However, it is also sustainable enough to where you can take, you can solo cap domination objectives very easily with the bar because of how many enemies it can kill in one magazine. The best attachments for the bar is basically foregrip, rapid fire, extended mags, and reflex sight, maybe quick draw too. Those are the attachments I'd prefer. I like my bar to have a lot of attachments. Use infantry, first of all, because the bar has 20 ammos in, or 20 ammos, yeah, 20 bullets in a magazine. It doesn't have a lot of ammo, and if you miss with it, you're screwed. So pick infantry so you have extra magazines. The bayonet's good, but most importantly, the next attachment. Because you are going to require foregrip and rapid fire on the bar. Now, whether you're going to use the bar for frontline attacking, put quick draw on, if you're going to use it for more point holding or counter flanking, put on reflex sights for it. The reflexes make it infinitely longer range. It's very amazing. Or pick up primed instead of hustle and put on all four of those. Extended mags is also very good. If you're fighting a very aggressive team, use extended mags because it bumps up how many people you can kill from five to ten. Or not ten. That's, it adds ten bullets. It's five to seven because it adds ten bullets. And you have two bullets to miss if you had to kill seven people. Maybe they called in paratroopers. But yes, use infantry with the bar. Pretty much all the infantry perks work nicely. And really, the bar is very versatile, but it's important to know that it is best used in frontline attack. And you can counter flank. Don't try and flank with it, because if someone's got an SMG, they will rip you up close range. And don't challenge snipers with it. That is a bad idea. But. That's it for this video. What do you guys like the bar for? What are your guys' strategies with the bar? I want to know because sometimes someone comes up with a better strategy than me. But this is my strategy. I got the bar gold, so I kind of know what I'm talking about when it comes to the bar. And I really like it. It's a fun weapon to use. But that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. And subscribe if you're new for more weapon tips at Call of Duty World War II. I will see you guys in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.